Hello, this is Dr. Lorenz at Longevity Health Institute in Rochester, Michigan. Hope this finds you well um, at the end of your day or at the beginning of your day. Uh, it's my end of my day with patients and I thought I would t talk to you and share with you something that is very, very common here um, and we talk about almost daily um, and that is hair loss or hair thinning or um, you know patches of hair falling out uh, that nobody likes, whether it's men or women. Um, as most of you know, uh, I'm Dr. Lorenz. We uh, practice a functional metabolic approach here um, in a very personalized way or a personalized medical way. Um, and one of the things that we're always looking into and looking at is um, a hormonal assessment, nutrient assessment, um, stress factors in that. And these all play a role into hair loss. So like I said, no matter if you're a woman or you're a man or you're 25 or you're, you're 75, no one likes thinning hair. No one likes to go bald, um, especially women. We have a multitude of women uh, monthly that uh, come and share with us uh, that in their perimenopausal time, uh, 30s, 40s, going into 50s, uh, that, that's one of the features. Um, and it's something that we really work with and we're very successful with restoring. Uh, and that is hair quality, hair growth, um, and that is because we look into the balance of and the features related to hormones. Uh, some hormones like high or unopposed testosterone, dihydrotestosterone, um, do give you and will give you hair loss and hair thinning. Stress factors, adrenal cortisol factors, do play a role into hair loss. And it's what that old saying, like, you know, a man or a woman uh, going bald or thinning, you know, what's been going on with you? Um, obviously a lot of stress. <laughs> but it's real. Cortisol and adrenal issues do play a role into hair loss. Um, the other thing is that in perimenopause, naturally, even a healthy woman um, gracefully ages and loses progesterone. And progesterone is a big, big, big health um, uh, feature uh, to the hair follicle um, and to hair um, uh, cycles. Uh, and so when we restore somebody's progesterone level in, in, with perimenopause and that hair quality and hair uh, uh, improvements do happen. Of course there are nutrient issues related to hair, uh, particularly zinc and iron, um, biotin, B vitamins, um, and, and the sort that play a big role so we look into that. But it's not just restoring the nutrients, it's actually also restoring gut health so that the foods that you eat that are rich in these uh, minerals and vitamins get to the hair, okay? In extreme cases, in cases that are very stubborn or that are genetically like male pattern baldness or when there's genetics related to hair thinning, um, we are very successful with using something called platelet-rich plasma or PRP. And this is an injectable kind of stem cell therapy, if you will, that restores blood supply uh, and nutrient levels to the hair follicle to, to re-stimulate them to grow. So hopefully this is very informative to you or to someone that, that, that you know that may have been suffering from some hair thinning and hair loss. Um, obviously not just men, but even women. It's a very stressful and emotional thing when someone loses hair. So take this information, share it with others, and be well. Again, this is Dr. Lorenz at Longevity Health Institute. Thank you.